hey, how's it going? Um, it's uh, Thursday, May 26, I think. Yeah, 26, 2016. It's uh, 5.43 in the morning. I'm in Korea. Like I told you the last video I'd be in. Like you would have doubted me. No. Um, guess what I'm doing today? No, no, no. Not going to do that. Close. You're so close. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm going to go out and find a spot with my friend and uh, detect. He made it back to Korea and he gave, well, I gave him a call Sunday. And it rained Tuesday, so we couldn't go out. But Thursday, it's just foggy-ish. I'll show you what foggy-ish looks like. Um, but we're going to go out and try to find some stuff. Yep. The flight was uneventful. Got here. Took a taxi to the hotel. This is what I look like in a taxi. And, yeah, got here. Work's been good. Got a lot of stuff done. I've done a lot of walking around myself. But uh, it should prove to be a very interesting trip. So, excuse me. Mouse has ran by. So we'll see uh, what goes on. And I'll catch you guys... Uh, Maybe on the trail, maybe in the car. Uh, show you some of the scenes of the area. All right. All right. Catch you guys in a bit. All right. So far, um, met one of the locals. Told us we were parked in the wrong spot. <laughs> we're going to go up that hill somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, we got to move the car. And we're gonna try to park right here. I'll flip this around. We're gonna try to park in this little piece of dirt next to this Benjo ditch. And they're doing some construction next to us. And they have street lights in a weird spot, not even near this road. So, but we're gonna hike up that trail up into the hills and it's foggy today okay I'm doing a bathroom roundup just got done cleaning the vines so let's go look at them we've got this here is a folding knife you can see the rivet there the end where it would pivot is kind of broken off okay and there's the blade that was found in an old foxhole. This was found near the foxhole. And this was found on the back side of the foxhole. This is not a nail, it's a pin of some sort. So, that's pretty cool. I uh, found these two walking down the trail. These are, uh, one's a 1991, one's a 1996, 101 coin. Um, also found a button. I think it's made of aluminum. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a little riveted button. Two evil ones, and then I dug two old coins. Um, this one here, this is a one Sean. It's from 1906 or 1909, 1909, that's what it is. The year 10 says it's a 1909. Um, I gotta clean it up some more, but it's gonna have some beautiful patina. It's nice and rich green color. Just like the ones I found last trip, but those are half chons. So that's a pretty cool coin to have. And then um, this is a two moon, but I think it's a replica. I have to talk to my friend about it because first of all, when we dug it, I dug it, it was eight inches down, okay? But it, when I rubbed it, it had that silver color and that just doesn't look right. But this is a, what'd he say? Um, 
Uh, it's a specific, it's a special mint mark too, and these markings, having a mark on this side is completely odd. But with this texturing in here, it's kind of throwing me off, which makes me think this is definitely a reproduction coin. Plus, coins from back then, because this would be a 1742 or 1782 coin, uh, they're all made of bronze. Well, what I have here, I have a six inch magnet or a six inch ruler with a magnet on the end. This is why I think this is a reproduction. I gotta talk to my friend about it though. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to pick up a bronze coin. However, in its own right, being a, if even if it is a, a uh, replica or whatever that's made of steel, that's still pretty cool though. I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna keep that guy anyhow. Got a little rust on him. That was under the dirt. Um, I'll show you before and afters on the cleaning. But um, no, that's still a pretty cool coin. I know it'll be a good one for my collection. So there you go. That was today's hunt. Uh, did 4.4 miles, um, the equivalent of 70 flights of stairs up and down the hills, or 70 floors on a building up and down the hills. And uh, that's what I ended up with. Oh, I also got this uh, weird banner thing, which I'll show you a picture of. Um, I thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd take it home. All right, you all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. Bye for now. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. next time he's here. Bell, Bell would not have enjoyed the experience. Alright, walking down over here. That's another one of my favorites. I know. <laughs> I can't help that you guys are in the way. All right, you get out of the cave, you have to walk through this movie set, uh, film a bunch of Korean soap opera type period things. It's pretty neat though. Yeah, look, more stairs. Let's go up here. Dragons.
Is that where we're trying to go? Is that the fortress? <laughs> no. Okay. I think it's up that one. <laughs> I'm not sure though. But that might be it up there. Hey, Bill. Yeah. This thing's amazing. I didn't know Koreans used concrete back then. <laughs> oh, weird spider. Look at that thing. We have something older. The older is from China to here. But you see two big stones. They look horrible, but they're good guys. We call it, in other words, they are diamond guardians, of course. And outside is the three story, inside is one tower. And you can see the tiles are made out of the golden powder. We call it golden tiles, it's baked in a special cave. And it, uh, 50,000 pieces are all decorated. As I told you about the fish shape, it's a healing down the heat. Yeah, roof. That's a significance of us. what diligent. And you can see the golden powder is a decorated all around the Right, so today pretty much went up two hills did some cultural stuff <clears throat> came back down um, the last place I went to I just got done going there had to use bathroom it's right behind me uh, it's called Gosun Temple um, very beautiful but my word it's a lot of hills uh, the first place I went to was on Dahl cave uh, you'll see the pictures um, I'll do a little brief synopsis before each one, but uh, the other one is Ondal Cave and resort area where they, it's got kind of a historical village that they film uh, Korean period soap operas at, but that was pretty neat, but time to get on the bus. So, um, 
So far this weekend, my eyes are itching. Um, I have gone to a theme park type thing, mountain fortress, whatever you want to call it. Um, a Buddhist temple. And then um, yesterday, went to a Korean baseball game. Now it's Monday. And I'm waiting to get picked up for another hunt. My legs are killing me. This is uh, several days in a row. I've woken up at like 5 in the morning. Look at my eyes. Baggy eyes. So anyhow, getting ready to go. I'm having my uh, hotel coffee because the cafe is closed because it's Memorial Day. Some rank crap. And uh, a Pop-Tart. Breakfast at Champions. Anyways, um, I'll show you what I find. If I can get the camera out on the trail, I will. I have no idea where we're going. Whatever we do, I'm pretty sure it'll be hot and sweaty. It's uh, It's been foggy. I got kind of a fog burn from yesterday. My arms are somewhat red. I think this is going to be a long video. Only because uh, before this is probably um, some shots of the baseball game. Me talking, being bored, or boring. And then uh, some shots from the temple and the, the failed hike up the hill to see the rock wall. It looks like a sheep pen, but it's supposed to be a mountain fortress. So, anyways. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. Alright, so... Alright. End of the hunt. I'm back home. I've cleaned everything off. And here we go. We'll start off with this side. We've got a spoon. It's a broken spoon, but it's a full bronze spoon. I've been working on it a little bit. Look bored. Uh, it's got some pretty good tarnish on it, but nevertheless, it's an old bronze spoon. Uh, we got a shear blade. This is the first thing I dug. Um, it's Chinese, don't know what it says. I'm guessing it's the right direction. <laughs> a little washer. It's too stiff to be aluminum, but it's not stainless steel because it's too light. Kind of weird. Uh, pipe with tobacco still in it. This little stud off of something. It's made of brass or bronze. I was playing with it a little bit. Piece of cast iron, piece of iron chain, um, a can key, iron ring, two chrome plated chopsticks, an iron pen, the handle off of a spoon or a fork, which what makes this interesting is it's more European design, not Asian. But there's no maker's mark under these three little dots right here. I think it's pewter, but it could be also bronze. Who knows? German silver. Let's call it German silver. A uh, strange buckle, little iron pin, another piece of iron, cast iron, but that has a purpose. I'll tell you about that in a second. And we did get a coin. It's a two moon. I cleaned it up. I'll show you a picture of it after this video before it was cleaned. Um, it's in pretty good shape. This is Special Army Unit Mint. That's a six in the series. And uh, 1740 to 1750. Pretty coin though. I like it. Um, then we got these weird lumps of iron. There's this one, which is the first weird lump of iron I dug. Give you a side view. I'll see if someone can figure these out before I tell you. And there's that and this is a piece of one okay you know what these are these are crude little iron animals 
See, there's the head. There's front feet. You can guess what that is. Let's just say he's a little happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> no idea what these were used for. Probably in uh, some sort of animism uh, right or something. But they're little iron animals. And this is a leg off of one. I would have think this was a leg off one, but it's too long. But that's just right. So, these are little animal, crude animal figurines. So there's everything. That was from today. Um, not too bad. Only one coin. I did get another coin. It was a 1972 101. Uh, I gave that to the other guy that was digging with us. So here you go. I think he kept it. Or he threw it in my backpack. I don't know. But hey, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with this long, long, long video. I'll throw some singular pictures of these guys, the coin, and this at the end.